Hello, this is West Virginia Tim. I'm actually not at a cache location. I'm actually at my house. But I wanted to show you how to build a very simple cache. But it's very unique and can be very difficult depending on how hard you hide the clues. I call this cache safe cracker. So first thing we, you do is you hide an ammo can. It's got a lock on it. So we found our ammo can. Now the cache page says there are three clues that I need to find. I notice that this lock is an alphanumeric lock. So I've got to look for three clues to be able to crack this safe. Now, after, that, after we do that at the end of this video, I'll show you how to make it. To make, this vi to make this cache, all you really have to do is be able to drill a hole. So, we, we need three clues. So let's look around and see if we can find three clues and see if we can become a safe cracker. The cache page says that the clues are attached. So of course you can't attach them to anything live. But as I look in this area, I found one of the clues. If you look very, very close, there's a frog. And the frog is actually nailed uh, to the bottom of that root of this cutoff tree. So, we have, a, we have an F for frog. Let's see if we can find two more. Okay, I've spotted the next clue. It's actually been placed up there with a ladder, so it's actually out of reach. But if you look up, you can see a bird. And so, if you put the bird up high enough, so it's out of reach, then uh, cashers won't move it, take it, or anything like that. So, of course, your three clues are going to be completely different. So, now we have a B for bird. Okay, I've spotted the last clue. Looks like a nose. So we have a nose. So we have a N for nose, B for bird, and F for frog. Got it. On my third, uh, on my third combination, I tried. So had six different choices. Got it on the third. Feel pretty good about that. So now I'm a safe cracker. So all I've got to do is sign the log to claim this cash. Okay, how do we build this thing? It's really simple. If you can drill a hole, you can make this cash. I use a word lock because it uses a three-letter combination code. I buy this at, just buy it at my local Lowe's. Uh, you need to flip before you buy it and take it home, flip it over on the bike. You can lift this little flap and it will tell you what the combination of the lock is. So you will want to make sure you can come up with clues. This lock opens on B, F, and N. So I came up with a bird, a B for bird, F, I got a frog, and on N, I came up with a nose. So before I walk out of the store, I make sure I can think of clues that I can use. Then I buy a simple eye bolt. And uh, to make this cash, all you really need to use is a drill. So I bought a drill bit that's about the same size as my eye bolt. I drilled a hole in any size ammo can. I put my eye bolt in. I'll probably put two nuts on the bike and I'll put some caulk on it to make sure it stays waterproof. Uh, but Right there is my safe. So there's my safe. Now all I've got to do is go hide my three clues. I'll hide my bird. Okay, let's summarize some of the key points of this cache. But before I do that, I just wanted to tell you, Geo Woodstock, May 2015, is only 10, 15 minutes from a lot of the West Virginia Tim caches. So why don't you come to Geo Woodstock next year, come a little early, stay a little late, and uh, hit some of my caches. Okay, let's talk about this cache. Couple key things. One, buy your lock first because your lock is going to give you the three letter combination and you'll need to make sure that you can come up with clues that will coincide with those of the lock that the lock gives you. Uh, depending on how hard you hide your clues will depend on how hard this geocache can be. My clues are rather hard to find. 
I put two up real high on my actual cash. Now the cash you just saw the day was one just here at the house trying to give you the concept. But on my actual cash, I have two that are hidden up high, one that's hidden down low. Make sure all your clues are attached. That way, if a cacher throws a piece of trash or a piece of trash happens to get in your geocache area, it's not confused for a clue. So make sure your clues are attached, okay? Um, also, when you, when you, with three different clues, the cacher will only have six different choices of combination for the lock. So if you have a clue hid, for example, A, one starts with A, one with B, and one with C, the combination can be A, B, C. It also could be A, C, B. Or if it's B, starts with B, it could be B, A, C, or it could be B, C, A. You get it? There's only six different choices. So that adds another level of complexity to this. It's a great cache. It's easy to build. It's got a lot of favorites. Go to my cache page, read mine. It's worked for nearly two years, and cashers love it. So, let you and I together keep raising the geocaching bar one cache at a time.